Thank you so much for tuning in today. This is Anthony Hendrickson. I just want to jump on this quick live video, so feel free to drop an emoji. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from down below. Let me know if you're catching the actual live or if you're catching the replay. Either one are great. Usually most people catch the replay, so just let me know. Uh, what I want to actually talk to you today about is a little morning routine that I like to do. It's actually what I like to call five underrated habits to refresh your morning routine. Um, I try to do it pretty much every day, but some days, you know, you get, you get busy, you're grabbing stuff on the way out the door, so you just can't do it. But I just want to share with you five quick tips that I use to try to refresh my morning routine, and I hope it helps you. Does your morning routine need a little refresher? Here are five quick tips, five quick things that I want to share with you today uh, that can hopefully jumpstart your morning routine and just maybe switch some things up for you a little bit. Number one, the first thing I want to share with you is eat the frog. Now what I mean by this is not literally to eat a frog, but what this is, what this means is take your most daunting, your biggest task of the day, do this first thing in the morning. Now what this is going to do, it's going to free up the rest of your day, it's going to make everything else seem a little bit easier, it's going to take that weight right off of your chest and actually make it seem like you are accomplishing more, it's going to make everything else seem that much easier, and it's just going to make your day start off on the right foot. Number two, sing. Sing like nobody can hear you. So sing in the shower, sing on your way to work, sing while you're making coffee. What this does is just kind of gets everything moving. Throw on that the song that you know that always puts you in a good mood, starts your day off right, and just sets you on the right path to actually have a great day. So what I find is just by singing makes this all happen and it happens right away in the morning. Number three, learn a new word. Pick up a dictionary, Google a new word, something that's however you want to do it. But what you want to do is actually get a new word that either you didn't know before or that you're unfamiliar with. Try to figure out how to use that word and then throughout your day, try to work that word into your regular vocabulary. So what this is going to do is once you, by learning these little things right away in the morning, it's going to make it seem like you're accomplishing something right away. And it's something that you can use not only that day, but later on, it's going to make you feel like your morning and your day all together is just a little bit better. Number four, put at least one thing away. Do you have some clutter piling up? Grab one item and put it back in its place. Now by decluttering your space or where you're normally at, it's gonna make it feel a little bit more enjoyable. Once you do this in the morning, you do it every day pretty soon, uh, the space that you felt like was cluttered, is gonna be uncluttered and make that much more of a weight off your chest. And once again, we're getting this done right away in the morning, so it's gonna make your morning feel more productive. So put one thing away. Number five, text someone some kind words. Start your day off with good intentions. So send something nice to your partner, to your roommate, to uh, one of your family members, or just a friend. You know, not only is this gonna feel good for you, but they're gonna see this on the other end and it's gonna make them feel better. So not only is it making your day feel more productive and make it feel like you're doing something, you're actually making someone else's day as well. So this can really change not only your mood, but someone else's mood as well. So. Once again, my tip number five is just send some kind words to someone. Just let them know that you're thinking of them. So those are my five intentional tips for the day. Uh, just something very small, something very quick. You can do all these every day. You can do them all within a couple of minutes. So there's just five intentions that I, that I like to do on a daily basis when I can, and I think you're gonna enjoy it too. Once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson just sharing a couple quick tips that can really refresh, restart, and get your day started off on the right foot. So I hope that you can use these intentions. I hope they can make your day, and not only your day, but someone else's day. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching or listening. I hope this content has helped you in some way. Maybe it motivated you, maybe it inspired you, maybe it actually triggered something uh, in your head to make you get out of that rut or get out of your own way. Maybe it simply entertained you. 
I'm just an ex-service industry guy who, once I decided I didn't want to live in that fast-paced life anymore, uh, decided to go my own way. I felt like I was out on an island. Everyone who I had known for years uh, suddenly wasn't around, and it was a whole new feeling. After spending tons of my savings, going into deeper debt, I realized that it was really time for a change and there's something I need to do about it. After being at a mental rock bottom, I decided that I had to pull myself up, do something different, and that's how I got into the world of marketing. Now, I've been almost two years removed from the corporate life and I've never looked back. If you wanna follow me on my journey or connect later on or in the future, or even if you just wanna follow me, you can either find me at my blog at anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Once again, that is anthonymarkhendrickson.com. Or if you're watching this video, you can click, click on the link below. Once again, I'm Anthony Hendrickson, and we'll see you on the inside. Okay, bye-bye.